Hello YouTubers, Rob here, aka Toronto Collector, here with a very short video. I owe you all a bit of an apology there. I said in my last video, in which I unveiled 18, that this next video here, I was going to start reviewing my singers. Well, that video, ladies and gentlemen, is still in the process of being gathered. I'm still working on getting pops for the singers. So I'm not just going to be reviewing one genre of music. I'm going to be reviewing as many genres of music as Funko makes. Rock, rap, country, R&B, hip-hop. So I'm going to be reviewing a lot of them. And there's going to be, I'm even going to be pulling them out of my collection here. Unboxing them here. And reviewing them, do, giving the old spinner roonies, reviewing them there for your entertainment there. To hope maybe that you may want to buy them yourself there I'll be pulling my, as you see here my collection here I'm an in the box collector but I'll be pulling out of the carefully out of my collection reviewing them out of the box reviewing them putting back in the box put back in the collection I was gonna buy dupes but after I do the review then I don't need dupes anymore because I don't like having dupes there because they get dupes get dusty and I don't like dusting Ugh. so <laughs> instead of having uh, dupes I figured I would just review what I have there do it carefully and I'm better off doing that way there, so that's what I'll be doing there. So that video is upcoming as soon as I can, I can get some more in there. I'm having to buy several from the U.S. and they do take a while to get here. So hopefully within the next video or so, I will be uh, able to do it there. So if you haven't yet done so, please do subscribe to uh, hit, hit the subscribe button, and that will let you know when I've up uploaded these videos. This video here is not going to be that long because I'm only going to be availing here one mailing. That Maria is uh, <coughs> dying in the background, by the way. <coughs> Ow. I drive a bus for a living, and she's sitting there coughing her lungs out and filling our place with germs. Thanks for that. I don't have any it's, but it's bad enough that the, some of the students I drive around openly cough. <coughs> they come forward and say, Bus driver, what are the controls here? <coughs> hmm. Thanks, kid, for that. Hey, I'm sorry. Anyways, uh, <coughs> now you got me going. Anyways, um, I was going to hold off on doing this, this particular unveiling here for, the, for this this one uh, pop here, but Marie can't wait for it there because it's one we've been waiting for for a while. It's for my leaf collection actually there. So I said, okay, well this video here will be short and sweet. Ha ha ha, bad chance. And I will do this this one unveiling here. So this video here came in. This box came in just last week there, and it's a but hopefully, I'm, I'm hoping it is, is a dual one, I'm hoping. No, I'm hoping. It, it, better not, it better be what I'm thinking it is, otherwise uh, I will have lied. So, well, not, not to you people, but to Maria. Because I'm pretty sure I know what it is. And as usual, I'm using my trusty safe box cutter knife, which actually is kind of like me, quite old. But it's got an old rusty blade to it here, and you can see here the blade here, if it was newer, would actually retract into the handle, making it very safe. Okay. And I've seen other subscribers uh, using huge daggers to cut their boxes open there, and they're always so careful with making sure the blade doesn't go too far down into the, into the package, like the especially the box. Well, the solution for that is get a retractable one with a retractable blade, so that you can only have so much of the blade out there. Mm -hmm. To go down so far into the box that way you're guaranteed you won't cut the contents of the box guaranteed and these are very cheap i mean you get these at the dollar store uh any store that sells sells a good amount of harbor supplies insert name here should sell these things very very economical like maybe five bucks maybe very cheap there and if you're trying to blade there we're not in use they turn it down you don't have to worry about someone coming along and like oh box kind of like doing anything you know, crazy with it. So, they're very, very simple. And when the blade gets dull, you try the blade here in the handle. And when the blade gets dull, you just snap it off, and you get a fresh new blade. So, they, if they ever get dull, and I've seen some YouTubers there get dull blades in their eyes, just snap it off there carefully, and you have a fresh new blade. So it's a win-win. Anyways, so this box has now been cut open carefully. So now here comes the unveiling. And of course, I can't see it. So here we go. <laughs> Are you okay over there? Yeah, I'm dying. Yeah, I hear that. I, we th I think we're all hearing that. You okay over there? Yeah, I'm fine. Uh huh. She says she's fine. Yeah, liar. Okay, there we go. 
I can feel already the bubble wrap in there. I can feel already the bubble wrap in there, so... There should be two in here. Okay, now I gotta put it down because I think there should be two in here. Yes, there are two in here. Two in here, and I can see from the thing there. Are they individually bubbled? Yes, they are. Individually bubbled. Or as one YouTuber calls them, bubble. And I think she's so cute for saying so, too. That, that's um, Kristen from Pops KO. Always called them bubbled. Bubble. I think it's so cute to say it too. Uh, Pops KO, if you haven't checked out their channel, Pops KO, they're a really cool couple based in Florida. Lucky them. So if you haven't checked out their channel there, I don't know how to do a link down below. So unfortunately, I can't do that there. But just pop, just type, on, type in on uh, YouTube, Pops KO, or follow them on Instagram, Pops KO4 on Instagram. They're a really cool couple. I highly recommend them. I subscribe to their channel, but I don't think they've discovered me yet. So... Anyways, uh, they're real, they're a real co cool couple, and uh, Kristen always says, always calls us bubble, so it's really cute. So, anyways, here here is the. Why do they always tape bubble wrap? I don't know, but anyway, I, I guess that's to preserve it or whatever. Anyway, and this is in two pieces. Okay, well, it's nice that they do it though. It's nice. That, it's nice that they do bubble wrap it up. So. So there's one Carlton there, and uh, the sticker here is a Canadian exclusive <laughs> sticker. Yeah, right. Even though I've seen plenty of Americans having this, uh, which I have no problem with. It's nice to see that they're wanting to buy a Funko that supports our local team, our NHL team. So there's a spinning room here for, for this one here. And you see on the back here, it lists, so the, it lists the other ones that uh, are available in, uh, with this series here. Um, I can't read it there, but the, uh, yeah, it's got, uh, I don't know, Gritty, uh, Tony, Tommy Hawk, and blah, 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 blah. You can read up all the rest of them there if you want to read them there. I could unveil the next one there and read them as you look at it there, but why don't I think of doing that? I don't know. So here is the other one, you as you can plainly that. see. I mean, knowing what, what Maria's saying, because I asked her to be, to, uh, you know, and she's, and yet she still wants to commentate from from behind the scenes. So there you, you see you have uh, Gritty, Tommy Hawk, N New NJ Devil, probably New Jersey Devil, mm -hmm. Blades, Chance, and Horace Carlton. So I guess maybe those are other team mascots. Yeah. I don't know. I haven't looked at any of those up there, but they're probably other team's mascots. So, and this one here has not only the, I didn't notice that before, has not only the Canadian exclusive sticker on there, but also the official uh, hologram uh, indicating this is authentic Toronto Maple Leafs merchandise. That's what that hologram there is. If it didn't have a hologram there, this might be a knockoff from China. So it has a hologram there, so this is a genuine Toronto Maple Leafs product there, which means I, I, we are supporting the team, or I am supporting the team. We are. If it didn't have a hologram there, it's, it would be a fake. So only that, that label, is, that hologram there is only available from the teams. Only available from the teams there, so it means I'm supporting. We are supporting the the lease there. So that's this unveiling for right now. The two pops there, as you can see, they're both in excellent shape here. I I don't remember what what seller in Canada <coughs> here I bought them from. I'll, I'll always have given give them an endorsement there, but the uh, seller is on the label here and. I can't quite read the, uh, came from a seller in Pickering, Ontario. Uh, can I, I'm sorry, I can't read the label there, but they're from Pickering, Ontario. So if you, if ever you, uh, uh, other people here are watching me from Canada, and you're looking to buy from a great Canadian collector, this collector is based in Pickering. So, unfortunately, I couldn't, I didn't know I was going to do that and give him a plug. So, but I swear they really are the base of Pickering there, and I highly recommend because these pops are in mint, as, as Clint from Franchise Kicks would say, mint condition. They're mint. No problem at all on these. <coughs> and they are very cute. So, anyways, that's this video here. It Even though it's going to make it short, it's only all going on almost 10 minutes long. Anyways, so yes, so ladies and gentlemen, uh, hopefully you're still tuned in and watching me here. Um, the upcoming video soon will be... Uh, the, the beginning of my reviewing of uh, singers. I'm going to be doing singers first, singers, then guitarists, then drummers, and so forth, on like that. And I'm still compiling those Funkos there into my collection there to review them. 
So it'll be in an upcoming video. So please do hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell icon so you're notified when I do uh, release more videos. I try to do them as often as I can. As often as they come in and I can get to the store. But we here in Toronto here don't have access to as many stores as other people do. So we do our best. So anyways, this is a Toronto Collector saying I hope you enjoyed the video. If you've enjoyed the video, please do comment down below. Tell your friends to come on over here to, to Toronto Collector here. Enjoy my videos there. So you all take care. See you soon.